Apple has redesigned the notification system in iOS 16. Notifications now appear stacked at the bottom of the lock screen by default. Some users aren't big fans, but don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through the new notifications, and if you want to revert to the old ones, I'll show you how. Hi everyone, welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out the description for a downloadable resource guide on notifications. Let's get started. In iOS 16, you're given three options to choose from, so let's start with that. First thing we'll need to do is open the Settings app, tap on Notifications, and here at the top, you'll see how you can display your notifications. Stack is the default view, count, and list. Choosing count allows notifications to appear at the bottom of your iPhone display as a number. Just tap on these notifications or swipe up on the lock screen to interact with your messages. Stack is the new default view in iOS 16. When you choose Stack, notifications will be stacked on top of one another. When you receive a new notification from an app, it will be placed on top of the previous notification, but you will see a demarcation line. It doesn't matter how many notifications you receive, they will all be bundled as a short stack. Finally, if you choose List, you will see your notifications like they were prior to iOS 16. Each notification will appear as an individual message. Once you receive several unread notifications, they will be grouped based on app and person. Unopened notifications won't stay permanently on the lock screen, whether you choose count, stack, or list. Instead, after ignoring the notifications, they will automatically hide and remain in the notification center. To access them, swipe down from the top of the screen to access the lock screen, and you'll see your notifications listed there. If you feel like you're being inundated with notifications, you can choose which apps you want to receive notifications from and what types of alerts they send. To do this, you'll want to tap into the Settings app. You'll want to tap on Notifications. And under Notification Style, you'll see a list of all of the applications that you receive notifications from. And maybe you don't need to see notifications from games uh, or the App Store, but maybe you want to see notifications from the Find My app. So I'm going to scroll down to the Find My and I'm going to tap on it. And this is the default settings that Apple has set up for you. So as you can see, almost every notification is turned on under these settings. You can choose to un, you know, turn them off at whatever you want to do. So if you don't want to receive all of these notifications, then go ahead and select some of them and turn them off. Just remember that every time that you download an app, the first thing it asks you is if you want to receive a notification. And maybe you're so quick and you just say yes. So here's how to go through and manage the notifications for each app. I'm going to go ahead and tap on notifications in the upper left corner to come back to the main notification area. And you'll notice at the very bottom of the notification screen, you have options for government alerts. So these are the Amber alerts, your emergency alerts, public safety. And again, you can toggle these on and off whenever you want. Another option you have inside of notifications, maybe you don't want to see notifications constantly. You can choose a scheduled summary, and this way you'll receive a digest view made available in the morning and the evening by default. You can customize the time, frequency, and when a summary comes in. So let's me, let me show you how to set that up. If you tap on scheduled summary, 
you'll toggle on the switch and now you'll receive a little information about how this is set up. Tap on continue and here are a listing of your apps inside of your device. So you can go through and choose which apps you want to receive notifications from. So I'm just going to select a few here so that you can see how it works. And then I'm going to tap on add these four apps. Now I come to the scheduling area. It automatically schedules the first summary at 8 a.m. and then the second summary at 6 p.m. You can add additional summaries or change the time that you receive these summaries. When you're finished, tap on turn on notification summary and now you're scheduled to receive summaries in the morning and in the evening or at any time you've chosen. I'll caution you that the only apps that you'll see in the summary uh, notification are the apps that you've chosen. Any other app that has uh, notifications or alerts turned on will still come across in the lock screen. If notifications are managed properly, it can help you balance constant connectivity and seeing what's important to you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.